Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. Let's start today's video off with a recent update from Samson Dowda. And Samson said, let's get back to work. In this post, he also tagged his wife. So I guess as of right now, his wife will be coaching him going forward. And I'm pretty sure that Samson took a little bit of time off following his two runner ups at the Arnold Classic Ohio and the Arnold Classic UK. Samson really went through a lot between the Ohio show and the UK show. He split with his coach Milos, which wasn't very pretty. And also at a point, Samson Dowda literally said he felt like his body was failing. But it looks like Samson is doing a lot better now. And going into this year's Olympia, I'm very excited to see what we're going to see from this guy. And again, not sure if he's going to continue to let his wife coach him or will he hire a coach, maybe a Patrick Tour or a boss of outlaw. I think both of those guys would be great for Samson Dowda. There are people with very high expectations for Samson. I'm pretty sure every week someone is comparing him to Ronnie Coleman. Now, personally, I wouldn't compare anybody but to Ronnie Coleman, but a lot of people draw their comparison from Samson to Ronnie. And also, I've heard people say that Samson has the best physique in bodybuilding. He just has to bring the conditioning. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about those statements? And again, those statements were not made by me, just things I've heard around the bodybuilding community from Milos, Fuad, maybe even Dennis James. And in the next update of the day, we have a recent update from Martin Fitzwater ahead of this weekend's Detroit Pro. And I'm actually gonna throw up the competitors list really quickly. And I think the main two threats to Martin are going to be Good Vito and Justin Rodriguez. And it is a little bit sad that the Detroit Pro doesn't have a lot of people competing in it because Fuad, Paul, and Ben Chow, despite me not liking Fuad, they're actually putting on a hell of a show. Great prize money. They're supposed to be doing better with the black backdrops. And we have a very small competitors list. But back to Martin Fitzwater. Really looking forward to seeing this guy compete this weekend. And we just saw Vito at the Arnold Classic South America. He is definitely no slouch. But if you guys don't know, I'm very high on the physique of Martin Fitzwater. Big fan of this guy from the Texas Pro and the Arnold Classic UK back in 2022. Hopefully Martin has added size. Martin is also being coached by Boss of Outlaw, who has a great track record with his clients from Erz Kalasinski to Wesley Vissers, even to recently Nathan Diasha. But I'm excited to see what this guy's going to bring to the stage this weekend. And it's quite possible Martin will have the best back on the Detroit Pro stage, depending on how Justin Rodriguez comes in. He also has a pretty good back as well. Now, in the next update of the day, we have a recent update from the shed James Hollingshead. And as of right now, James said he's just prepping for no apparent reason. Now, he did hint at the possibility of doing the Detroit Pro, and I honestly hope he does jump into the show. James Hollingshead did defeat Martin Fitzwater back in 2022 at the Arnold Classic UK. So if James did this show, he would actually be the favorite. And small competitors list, I think it's a great opportunity to actually qualify for the O and James is already in shape. And excuse me for saying that James is prepping for no apparent reason earlier. James is actually prepping just to learn his body a little bit better, which is a great idea. And credit to James because it's probably pretty hard to prep without prepping for an actual show. Now let's switch over to Tony O'Burton. These images were actually posted up by Matt Jansen and looking at the background, I would say this was backstage at the Arnold Classic South America. And I wanted to share these images because I think they really highlight the improvements that Tonio made from the Mr. Olympia to this year's Arnold Classic South America. Especially as far as the front double bicep goes, I would say this is Tonio's most improved shot. Implementing the vacuum really made a difference. Now in the next update of the day, we have a recent update from the butcher Brett Wilkin. As you guys know, Brett won the Romania Pro back in 2022, but Brett decided to pull out of the 2023 Olympia because he was becoming a father. And also Brett lost a bunch of weight and his physique wasn't really responding to the training. But it looks like Brett is back and he's also gained his size back. In the caption of this post, Brett said he should be picking out a show pretty soon. If I had to guess, I'm going to go with like the Romania Pro again or maybe the Prague Pro later this year. Now let's switch over to Quentin Araya Quint Beastwood. These are the latest updates of him. And I believe Quentin has yet to announce a show, but we're going to guess Toronto or Vancouver. And in the caption of this post, Quentin said that in preps he's done in the past, he smoked marijuana and he also ate edibles to help him go to sleep. But this time around, Quint will not be doing any of that. He'll just be eating and training. And hopefully we get to see the best version of him this year. 
Now let's switch over to Classic Physique. We have a recent update from Michael DeBoer. And I know I'm late reporting on this, guys. This video was actually supposed to come out yesterday, but it was a huge thunderstorm in the area. But I'm pretty sure you guys all know by now that Michael DeBoer was assaulted at a Two Bros Pro event. He was actually jumped by four security guards. Now, just to give you guys a little bit of backstory, Michael DeBoer was on his story speaking somewhat negatively about the show but i mean it was all pretty honest he was just saying they need to do more as far as for the athletes and he also flipped off one of the security guards at a point so that is what michael did as far as what he said now what you guys are looking at now is actually the post that he put up and the main thing he said from this was he was really embarrassed that he had to get beat up in front of his partner and in front of so many people and also two bros pro events put out a post and they basically said that they've had issues with Michael before, and they also had an issue of him assaulting a young lady, which is a very serious offense. If you guys want to read any of this in full, just pause the video, but I'm just going to give you guys the cliff notes. So I guess right now it's kind of Michael DeBoer versus Two Bro Pro event. It's actually very hard to say, guys. But Michael DeBoer actually put out another statement, and he said, since they are deciding to lie about what happened, he's going to have to go the legal route. But as of right now, I'm definitely standing with Michael. I don't think he has any reason to lie. Michael said after the show, he was led back there by security to meet with his partner. But two bros pro events said it was during the show and Michael was trying to sneak back to where women were undressing and tanning. And they've also had a past issue with him before. So that's going to be it for now, guys. But I will update you if there are any more updates about this. But let's go ahead and wrap up today's video here with the archive of the day. You guys let me know in the comment section below who is this bodybuilder. And as always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. And if you have not done so already, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Krishan from Go Fitness and that's it. I'm out.